Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Camaria, but you can also call me Miss K. And I hope you'll join us every Thursday at noon for our Storytime with the Met. But first, as you might know, it's time for our Storytime song. That's right, we start every Storytime with a Storytime song called Welcome Friends and it goes to the tune of This Old Man. So if you've sung it with us before, please join me now. And we're gonna sing in three, two, one. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We use our eyes to look and see. We use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin now with our book. Yeah, thank you everyone so much. So let's begin with our book. Your Name is a Song, written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow and illustrated by Luisa Uribe. And this is the first page. What do you see going on here? Looks like all those kids are having fun playing, but she's standing by herself. I wonder why, I wonder what's happening. I'm not coming back ever again, the girl stomped. Please don't stomp unless we're stepping in a drill team, Mama said. Was your first day of school so bad? The girl looked down. No one could say my name. No one? Not even your teacher? Mama asked. She tried. It got stuck in her mouth. A street musician swayed and played. Mama closed her eyes until she swayed too. Tell your teacher that your name is a song. The girl wrinkled her brows. I can't say that. Names aren't songs. Or are they? Let's find out. Look at the street musician. I wonder what song he's playing. Sure they are. Take the name Olumide. Olumide is a melody girl, and so is Cotone. Olumide. Cotone. Oh, sorry. Cotone. <laughs> Sometimes you have to practice names. The girl whispered the names. Tap to tap went her feet. Mamadou is a beat. Mamadou. Tandowetu. Tandowetu. Stretches out like a love song. Tandowetu. Yes, girl. Names are songs. Sing your name. Do you want to try singing your name right now? <laughs> Very good. Your teacher will learn to sing it too. The girl did a little jig as they walked on. But then her feet slowed. Umi, I guess that means mother. She called to her mama. During snack, some girls pretended to choke on my name. That's not very nice. Has anyone ever made fun of your name? Have you ever made fun of anyone's name? I hope not. What would you say to someone if they did, though? Think about it. At the red light, a car boomed hip-hop beside them. The bass pounded from their heads to their toes, even in their chests. Remember what that feels like? If you've heard loud music before, sometimes it rattles in your chest. 
tell those girls some names must be said from here, not the throat. Names come from your heart, the girl asked. Say the name Ha. Ha. From there. Ha. You got to go deeper to say Ahlam. Ahlam. Can you think of some names that sound deep in your chest? Does your name sound like that, maybe? As they crossed, the girl touched her chest. Juana, Juana is here. Ngozi, Ngozi goes deeper. It pokes me in the stomach. Yes, girl, from your heart, say your name. Those girls will learn to use their hearts too. We see her speaking names. The girl bopped to the beat as they walked on. In art, one boy's eyes got all wide when I said my name. Is my name scary? Wires sparked above a streetcar and Mama and the girl jumped back, startled. Mama put a calming hand on the girl's shoulder. Tell that boy some names have fire. You can put fire in a name? It's fire. Better watch out. Kweku storms in on a Wednesday. Kweku and fire dances in Sagnika. Sagnika, pretty. Mama said, names are that strong? The girl asked. Siomara fights a battle in your mouth. Siomara. Tongues bow to say Bilkis. Bilkis. Zhulong lunges like a dragon. Zhulong. Udom. Udom is magnificent. The girl's lips trembled. Yes, girl, just like you. On her toes, the girl rose and kicked as they walked on. What about the kids at recess who say my name sounds made up? Hmm. Mama pointed up. Tell them that made up names come from there. From the sky, the girl asked. Made up names come from dreamers. Their real names were stolen long ago, so they dream up new ones. They make a way out of no way. They make names out of no names. Pull them from the sky. And the girl reached up to pull names too. Taje and Trevan, they sit on clouds with Jalante. You can see the names in the clouds. What kind of names do you think you would pull from the sky? Good. Mama nodded. And Laquan and Lamika are the twinkle in the stars and the glimmer in minds that think and tinker. Are these names new songs? The girl asked. Yes, girl. Tell everybody to learn new songs too. The girl twirled and leapt to the sky and they walked on. You can see Lamika following them. The next day, the girl didn't want to go to school, but she had songs to teach. Line up, Ms. Anderson hollered. Ms. Anderson, I say that. The girl looked to the sky and she saw dreams and fire there. Ms. Anderson hollered names. Benjamin, tap, 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 went the girl's feet. Here. 
tapping out their names. Siobhan, ta ta, here. Olivia, ta ta, ta ta, Olivia, here. <laughs> The girl stopped tapping. Her name was getting stuck in Miss Anderson's mouth again. What do you think Miss Anderson's feeling right now? Because she can't say her name? Yeah, maybe she's a little embarrassed. The girl sang. She sang her name out. The whole class stared. What are you doing? Miss Anderson asked. I'm singing my name so you'll learn it. Names are not songs, Miss Anderson huffed. Miss Anderson, sang the girl. Miss Anderson frowned. Your name is a pretty song, said the girl. Miss Anderson, sounds nice like that. Miss Anderson's frown slowly turned into a smile. Why, thank you. What about me? Bob asked. Bob, what's my song? The girl belted out, Bob. <laughs> the other kids asked for songs too. She sang and sang their names. They all want songs for all their names. Miss Anderson asked, could we hear your song again? The girl <coughs> sang her name. Cora, Jolly Moose, Jolly Moose. I'm gonna try again. Cora, Jolly Moose. The teacher sang it back. Cora, Jolly Muso. Then another, then another. Everyone sang her name. Cora, Jolly Muso. It's a beautiful name. It was music to her ears. The end. And look, there's all the names in the book in the back and show you how to pronounce them. Thank you all so much for listening to that book. I hope you really enjoyed it. You're such, such great listeners. Okay, so before we get to our activity, we're gonna do something with our names. Not sing them, but something else fun. I'm gonna talk about a piece we have at the Met that has a very special name on it. It's King Tutankhamun's ring. Maybe you've heard of him, King Tutankhamun. And that's a pretty big name too. And so when he became a pharaoh in ancient Egypt, he got another name. So he has two names. And our piece today is his signet ring. And it's from 1336 or maybe 1327, somewhere in there, BCE, which is code for a long, long time ago, thousands of years. And it's a gold ring. And it's flat on the top and oval shaped and it has hieroglyphics, which are Egyptian letters and they're carved on the top. And these hieroglyphics spell out his throne name or his royal name that he got when he became Pharaoh called uh, Neb, sometimes you have to practice names, <laughs> Neb Keperure, which is his royal name. And it's a very beautiful ring. Would you like a piece of jewelry with your name on it? Yeah? What kind of jewelry do you think you would like to have your name? Maybe you noticed I have my name on a necklace that a friend bought for me. And it's very dear to me. I love it very much. But another fun thing you can do with your name if you don't have a piece of jewelry on it is to make uh, something called an acronym out of your name. And so what that is is you match the letters of your name to a word that you really like or a word that you think describes you. And you can write it down, make a beautiful picture, hang it on your wall, so you can remember all your favorite things that are attached to your name. And I'm going to show you mine. This is my name, Kamaria. And 
and I pick some words. You can also ask some people to pick some words. I ask some people to pick some words for me that represent my name. And so for the letter K, I wrote kind, because it's always important to try to be kind, and that's an important value to me. But you can also pick any word you like. Doesn't matter, whatever language you speak, whatever language your name is in, as long as it can be written down, we can do this activity. So that's it for today. Thank you all so much for coming to Storytime with the Met. We look forward to seeing you again next week, and I hope you enjoy singing the songs of your name and making your acronym with all your favorite words. All right, have a great day. We'll see you all next time.